This is Dr. Roger Knapp, pediatrician. Uh, let's talk about bottles and pacifiers. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who don't want to use them, but the vast majority of parents end up using one or the other. And um, the controlled studies show that if parents use pacifiers, even from the newborn nursery, there was no really difference in breastfeeding, but it's first breast, and then we talk about some other nipple. And if they're having trouble latching on, then no other nipple goes in there. Once they're nursing well, though, then a pacifier during certain fussy times of the day really does help. The first year, uh, as much pacifier as they want to use it, we can control and regulate the pacifier and can't take away their thumb. And so the child between one and two years of age may want to use it, but at that age it should be bedtime, nap time, church, automobile, restaurants, doctor's office. <laughs> And uh, as they get older than two years of age, strictly bedtime. And we sure don't want them walking around with it, mess up their teeth and uh, their speech and stuff. So strictly uh, keep that pacifier regulated. But we'll go to bed with it till three or four years old. Well, if it makes going to bed a pleasant evening in a scary dark room without mommy, daddy, and the pacifier, they go to bed more pleasantly, then keep it going if it gives them that security. But when they cry for it during the day, the answer is no. Because uh, you're running the house, right? Uh, your kids will cry what's not good for them for 20 years. And we have to say, nope, sorry. Um, the same thing with uh, um, bottles. The used to be years ago we said don't use a bottle after one year of age because we were worried about parents putting them in bed with the bottle and rot their teeth out. But I had the mother put the kid in the bottle with a, uh, in bed with a pacifier and the mother breastfeed the baby and then rot their teeth out. So it's not really the uh, container but um, who's running the show and, and misusing it. Um, but a sippy cup's a bottle. It's a container with a spout you suck on. It's just a hard plastic nipple. Uh, even that tumblers with a lid with a swivel up straw is a bottle with a funny nipple. So, so you may continue the bottle after one year of age. Most of us pediatricians are okay with that, but just don't put them in bed with it or let them walk around with it dangling out of their teeth. But they love that bottle in the morning after one year of age. In the morning, that's their cup of coffee to wake up. And in the evenings, you rock them, give them a bottle. What a neat loving time. I'd keep it going if it's my kid. So even till two or three years of age, the bottle's not a problem, but we don't walk with it or go to bed with it. Um, just don't tell anybody you're still using it because many people still have that old grandma advice of stop the bottle at one because all these other containers are really a bottle. Um, that's my just on that and uh, continue using that bottle if you want. Thank you.